Committee on Rules, Orders, Appointments, and Ordinances for June 29, 2015. I'm Councilor David Murphy. I'm chairing. Council Ryan O'Donnell is here, and Councilor Maureen Carney had an emergency and can't join us tonight. Uh, we are being audio and video recorded. Pam is taking notes. Um, I'm going to check on public comment. There's the mayor's here, Councilor Klein is here, and we're here. Uh, do I see anyone wanting to do public comment of the public? No. Hearing none, we'll move on. Uh, approved minutes of June 15th. All right, and I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, the next thing would be for our ordinances. 15-460 uh, ordinance to establish a special committee to review city ordinance. Do you want me to explain? Did you talk uh, to the solicitor about it? Uh, I didn't talk to the solicitor about it. Okay. Um, well, this is an ordinance that the charter requires us to pass mm -hmm. by July 1st. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not going to exactly happen, but we can start the ball rolling. Every five years, starting in 2015, we have to create a special committee to review the ordinances. And that's what this one Actually, I did talk to the solicitor. Oh, good. Come to think of it. I've been talking to him today, but I talked to him previously about it, and it's kind of an obligatory thing we have to do, so uh, there's not a lot of debate about it. Any questions from our public? Uh, hearing none. Okay. Want to make a motion on it? Uh, I mean, I would move. Uh, well, first, I, I would. Would we amend our committee's name onto the sponsorship just just for fun? I think it would be appropriate. To, oh, to add us to the. Yeah. Uh, so, upon the recommendation of Council President and the. Uh, I'm fine our with that. Okay. I'm fine with that. So just do that kind of. Yeah. Okay. So you want to. Move it as amended in that manner? Yes. Okay. So move. And, and I'll second it. Okay. I'm so sure Councillor Dwight won't mind. I just want to clarify that you're talking about the committee on rules orders. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the solicitor is fine with the way this is laid out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So I'll second that. So any more discussion and no public comment? All in favor? Aye. Good. Got that one done. And then the next one is for. Parking prohibited all times at a portion in Crescent, a, a portion of Crescent Street, and I'm sure you know about this from T and P. Sure. So if you would explain this one, then this was in uh, transportation parking um, a year ago, and we gave it a positive recommendation, and it kind of fell down a crevice or something. And Pam, um, the found council, council clerk, found it. Um, what it essentially does it, it it originated with the Department of Public Works. Basically, that part of Crescent Street is very narrow, right at Round Hill Road. And so there was a concern that it was hard to turn. You would essentially have to be in the middle of the street to turn. And so this removed a parking space um, there. I don't think there's even any signs there anymore. So it may have actually been, the signs may have been removed, but um, that's all this does. It removes one parking space. And even though it says 84 feet, it's that long because we're talking 20 feet from the intersection, intersection and then the parking. fire hydrant and, and then the park some other stuff and then yeah so but it's one park okay space. and uh, if you're going up around Hill Road it's Crescent to the right correct uh, to the left to well the if you're going up the hill around you're going up hill it's feet to the left correct okay because there's a big multi-family right on the corner right. I think they probably try and park right up to the corner if they can. okay yeah, yeah. It's just I could see where that would be a so oh. I move positive approval or positive recommendation of this okay any comment from the public? No. I don't look very interested in this stuff, so. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Here's that one. And uh, then we have an ordinance revising section 31299 providing for violations and penalties. I just kind of make a motion right off the bat, the positive recommendation for this as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll second that. Okay. And um, why don't I just read it, and then you can comment on it, just because this may interest folks at home. Any person who fails to pay the above prescribed penalty within 21 days of issuance of a ticket shall be subject to an additional penalty of $10 prior to notification with the parking clerk to the registry of motor vehicles uh, of such failure to pay. 
That's the new language. It replaces any person who fails to pay the above described penalty within 21 days of issuance of a ticket shall be subject to an additional penalty of $10. Failure to pay within 60 days of the issuance of the ticket shall result in notification by the parking clerk to the registry of motor vehicles. Upon such notification, other penalty of, uh, of upon such notification, and this is the way it's written, other penalty of $10 shall be added in addition to any registry surcharge. So. The, the only change I would make is um, to switch those two. Actually, the first paragraph you read is the current ordinance, and the second paragraph you read is what we're going to replace it with. Yeah, well, that's what I'm sorry, I misread it. Okay. The first thing is the current, and the second exactly. one is yeah. the new language. Exactly. Although, is that correct upon such notification? Oh, another penalty of $10 mm -hmm. shall be added. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I just tr transposed that. Yep, yep. Okay. So basically, this is one of those that brings us into conformance with reality. This is what, this is, this is the process. I'm just updating the ordinance. Okay, so this, this more accurately reflects what, we, what we're doing. Correct. Yeah, this originated with, our, um, with Nancy Forrestal. Oh, our okay. Okay, good. That makes more sense. Um, so, you moved it? I, I seconded it? I did, yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. And the last item of business was specifically scheduled for 6.30. Yes. The problem is you told, I think the candidate was told to be here at 6.30. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, because she was specifically yeah. scheduled for 6.30. Yeah. So, so. Are you going to go into recess? recess or? Or? Yeah, we can recess to the left. Till 6 30. I move we do that. All, all second. I'm in favor of that. So we're going to take a recess for uh, 20 minutes until the uh, candidate shows up and then we'll go. What do you mean? Back to order as it's 6 30 and Captain Casper's here. So the final item on our agenda tonight is to review the appointment of Captain Jody Casper for the position of police chief. So Captain Casper, if you'll come up. And also the mayor, if the mayor wants to present anything to us. This is Captain Jody Casper. I believe you know her. <laughs> and obviously, I'm very pleased and, and honored to be able to appoint her as our next chief of police. Uh, you've received a copy of her very impressive uh, service record and resume. And I would just ask that you give her full and fair consideration and a positive recommendation to the city council. Mm -hmm. I'll turn it over to her for, for questioning. Okay. Captain Casper, first of all, do you have anything you want to say to us? Other than I'm very excited on the opportunity, no, uh, field any questions. All right, uh, Councilor O'Donnell, do you have any questions? I, I don't know that I have any pressing questions. I need to, to grill you on, but I would like to just add my, my sentiments that, um, you know, I, I, was, I was very impressed going over your resume and the things you've accomplished um, in a, a, what has been a, seems like a very Again, accomplished career so far, and uh, I was very impressed with your thoughtfulness. I've seen the things you've written. I, even, I googled some of them and read them. I determined that number one, I would never be a good police officer, <laughs> um, but I also determined that um, you approach this with an innovative um, spirit, and you seem to take best practices from many different communities and synthesize them. And um, I think that would be a great thing for the city. So uh, I wanted to note that for the record. And thank you for your service and willing to step up and uh, lead the department. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have any particular questions for you for the same reason. I think I've been on public safety for almost 10 years and I've worked with you both uh, on interview panels to, to both hire and promote other officers and I may even have been on one when you were promoted at some point in time. So I think I know you pretty well and I'm very happy you applied for the position and I'm even happier the mayor has selected you, so I don't. I don't think I have any further questions either. Um, so, with that, Councilor, do you have a recommendation? Yeah, I'd be I'd be pleased to move a positive recommendation. Joy Casper is the next chief, please. And I'll second a positive recommendation to Council. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> Being that that's the end of uh, our agenda, any of the business? Uh, none. I'm welcome to be here.
second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, thank you everyone.